Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the European Crossover Webinar. And we did see a, a deal uh, take place here with the EU, and um, that actually brought the, I mean, the Euro, uh, you may have thought that maybe we would have taken off and um, challenged the 115 area, but uh, that did not happen. Actually, we paired back, although we're still fairly well bid. We even saw the uh, cable going uh, come off of its highs a bit. And the dollar, uh, which had been lower, has actually come back up just a bit here. So um, take a look at that, uh, getting the announcement of the deal, but not um, certainly some would have thought that we would have uh, hit some stops up here in the euro. Taking a look at the uh, equity indexes. We did see the NASDAQ really climb yesterday and just was just on nonstop bid uh, as we saw this really take off here. And you can see we're actually well above, at this point, well above 11,000. Right there. We had already held here and but I, I was even surprised to see to the extent that it, it took off. Um, they actually was a little bit low in the morning. They jumped up on some vaccine news. They did back, and then they just turned around, and they never looked back. As we just kept pushing higher and higher and higher, and uh, starting to see we're at this point above 11,000 now here with the NASDAQ. We've just about tagged the prior highs, so right at essentially almost the all-time highs here. And take a look at the spoos. They have certainly jumped up. They got above their area here. A key on the had looked at was 3232, uh, which was a challenge area, and uh, we did make it up there, and then we just kept on going. We added on to that. Get up here at 3263. So all time high is also here. And take a look here on the uh, Dow features. Not all time highs though. And take a look here where we stand here with gold. I think Pedro was asking in the room yesterday about where was resistance? I said they were looking, that'd be at 1820 if they can take those stops out, which they did. They got above 1820. And uh, actually pushed it up here to what, about 1825? Yeah, 1825. We're pairing back, but uh, the stops were above 1820. And uh, we just haven't really seen much movement and taking a look also in crude oil. Yeah. Uh, we've actually defended this $40 and we're back up here at 41 and change, 41 and a quarter. But uh, we haven't seen much movement at all yesterday in the euro and the cable as they just kept a bid and just not very much movement whatsoever. Taking a look at uh, economic news that will be coming out.
coming into the states. Uh, we'll have an 8:30 Eastern National uh, Activity Index, along with Canadian ho new housing prices and retail sales. So a little bit thin on the U.S. docket. And let's just go in and uh, take a look at the news before we go into the analysis. And um, we didn't move very much yesterday, so we're not going to get much of a change. Um, EU deal and vaccine hopes keep the dollar at bay. The euro marked a fresh four-month high, and commodity currencies found support on Tuesday after European countries agreed on a rescue package for the bloc's coronavirus-hit economies. The hard-won deal, a compromise on concerns that thrifty northern states had uh, about handouts from more uh, profligate neighbors, was hailed as an important signal of unity by Europe's leaders and as a foundation for recovery. It pushed the euro higher to 1470, its strongest since early March, although it soon retreated back to just below flat since the uh, agreement was widely expected. The deal is a positive and a shadow of solidarity, securing a stronger economic recovery, said Christopher Wong. Market-wise, the positive news is already priced in, he said. For the gains from here, we're likely to be sticky, although a break, uh, break past the euro's March top of 1495 could open the door for rise to the 116 level, he added. The deal provided support to a fragile, broader sentiment and along with encouraging results for several COVID-19 vaccine trials, kept safe havens such as the greenback under pressure. Against a basket of currencies, the dollar made a fresh four-month trough at 96, uh, 95.63 and struggled for a headway into the Asian session. The Japanese yen was already at 7.21 per dollar. The Australian dollar clung on above 70 cents after the central bank offered few surprises in minutes from last month's meeting in a speech uh, from government fell below. Last uh, low said Australia's monetary, uh, Australia's monetary policy would remain accommodative for as long as necessary and added that the although he would prefer a cheaper Aussie, its 27% recovery for the March dollars was supported by fundamentals. We can't at the moment make the case that the Australian dollar is misaligned, he said in a, misca uh, a webcast of remarks. The U deal stuck on the fifth morning of a fractious summit delivers a 750 billion euro recovery fund, which French President Emmanuel Macron said he can meet the challenge of the coronavirus crisis. It followed a wave of positive early results from vaccine trials, including a closely watched candidate from Oxford University. But both pieces of good news come with geopolitical tensions rising with cases surging in the United States, where the market attention is turned to the likelihood of a new fiscal package. Advisors for President Trump and congressional de uh, Democrats were set to discuss the next steps in the national response on Tuesday, with congressional Republicans saying they were working on a $1 trillion relief bill. Global monitor BHP was warned the resurgent virus threatened commodity demand and widened its production guidance for the range for the year. Investors have not stopped looking over their shoulders. Strategists at Singapore said in a note, until proven wrong, it's a hard thing to the eventual drag on the economic activities and potential loan losses at banks uh, from the coronavirus resurgence. In the meantime, the pound hung on broad gains and made overnight as traders closed out long euro pound positions in wake of the EU summit progress ahead of the fresh Brexit talks beginning on Tuesday. It briefly touched a monthly high of 26.84 before retreating to flat for the session at 26.55 and against the euro, it was close to a week high of 90.33 pence. Australian New Zealand dollars buoyed by a fresh flow of fiscal stimulus. The Australian New Zealand dollars were testing record highs on Tuesday as a landmark deal on European Union recovery fund underpinned the risk sentiment globally while the Australian government committed to more stimulus at home. After days of talks, EU leaders reached a deal on a 750 billion euro stimulus plan that narrowed yield spreads. That helped the Aussie nudge up to 7017. I haven't been as far as 7035. 
The Kiwi stood at 75.66, having reached a high of 65.88, a whisker from its recent high of 66 even. Reserve Bank Governor Philip Lowe said that while he would like to see the LSE lower, it was hard to argue the currency was overvalued right from uh, right now, given the strength of commodity prices and Chinese demand. Lowe also ruled out a shift to negative interest rates and argued that there was no need to print money to fund government stimulus, given low yields and solid demand of its debt. Low also ruled out, uh, let me see, three-year bond futures did ease slightly last week as the government sold a massive 17 billion Aussies of a new 2025 line, but Low said that was just marked, mar was just market indigestion and would quickly abate. That resilience was uh, as the government announced an extension to its much needed job support programs. And let me take a look if there's anything yet on um, I was looking if the morning bid was out, but it's not yet. Says uh, uh, Asian shares hit a five month high in European equity markets extended gains on Tuesday if European Union leaders agreed on a massive stimulus plan for the coronavirus blighted economies. Hopes of vaccines uh, from the COVID disease might be ready by the end of year supported riskier assets blowing uh, following promising early data from the trials of three potential vaccines. News of the EU deal saw the euro rise to fresh warm month highs of 1470. European markets were set to open higher with pan region euro stocks 50 futures and footsies rising half a percent and German DAX futures trading six tenths higher during Asian trading. Even the S&Ps were up two tenths a day after the tech shares pushed the NASDAQ up 2.5 percent to a record closing high. <clears throat> It's a pretty good message compared to the other countries. Jeffrey's global equity strategist, says Sean Derby, said, referring to the outcome of the EU summit, the markets should take this news very well. The risk on approach on the global markets the last few months has been booked, boosted by record levels of stimulus announced by the policymakers to cushion the economic impact of the COVID pandemic and ensuing lockdowns. But some analysts are not convinced about the sustainability of the rally and the positive sentiment faces reality checks later this month as corporate earnings season gets in full swing in many co uh, countries. Harry Richards, uh, fund manager for the fixed income of Jupiter Asset Management, said a note on Tuesday that the economy was still experiencing stresses that comfortably exceed those during the global financial crisis. Monetary and financial easing has acted as an anesthetic, numbing the financial markets to the truly true gravity of the situation at hand, but it's really the longer term impacts of the crisis that are underappreciated appreciated by the wider market. With the announcement of the EU outcome, the investor focus has now shifted to the possible U.S. stimulus measures to help the economy after $3 trillion in stimulus early this year. The U.S. will likely adopt stimulus by the first week of August. We don't know its exact size, but I bet it'll be something of one to one half trillion, said uh, Nobiko uh, Karamochi, market strategist at Mizuhu. And advisors to Trump and congressional Democrats were set to discuss the next steps in responding to the coronavirus on Tuesday. So with that, we'll move into the analysis. And like I said, we just didn't move very much. So we'll see how much of a change there actually will be. So the euro maintained its bid throughout Monday's session. Resistance remains 1481, followed by 1532. Support is 1372. So there's no changes here uh, for Mondays. 
and we did get the announcement. So I thought we may have breached 15. I think many people thought, but uh, we did not breach it. So uh, once again, 1481 with 1372 on the low side. Moving on to cable. Cable saw its best close on in a month. Resistance will be 2742 with supported prior resistance, which was a weekly level of 2602. On to the uh, Aussie dollar. So the Aussie closed above the 70 cents level. Resistance is going to be 70.75 was supported 69.42. So we just keep pushing higher here. You know, I'm just wondering when it's going to stop, but it has not. So it's going to be 70.75. Was supported 69.42. And let's go on to the Kiwi. So the Kiwi closed at its best level of last of the last month. Immediate resistance remains 6594. Support will be 6531. So as I mentioned, not very much as far as changes. And that is across the board. Yes, it was a relatively quiet session overall. Dollar CAD paired back on Monday. Support remains 3501. So we just did, we got below it. We just popped up here with resistance at As far as the peso, the dollar peso closed with a gravestone doji here. Resistance will be 2262 with support at 2230. And we're just clipping along here because we just didn't even see much of a movement yesterday. So the dollar yen challenged 750, but was unable to take out bias chart resistance at 758. Support will remain 686. So once again, we're not really moving very much. I mean, if you look in here, the range in the dollar yen has been 713 to 737. So a, what is it, a 24 pip range? Not even 25 pips. So 758 is gonna remain the same. 688, 686 is gonna remain the same on the downside. 
they did get up to as high as 750 basically 754 that bias chart resistance kept it in check but we're just not doing anything So the dollar index closed sub 96 on Monday. Support remains 95.36 with resistance at 96.30. Well, it might have a tough time dipping down there as the euro did not challenge above uh, 115. Uh, but we'll go on and keep it for right now. 95.36 differences that will rein in the resistance a little bit more to 96.30. And that wraps up <clears throat> majors. So let's go move on to the uh, cross rates. Well, you can see here, we'll continue to press higher here in the Kiwi Yen. We have a resistance 7071. And that's gonna stay. The 7071 is gonna stay. The word 70. 60 essentially right now. Um, the only difference is we will raise the um, the bias charge support up to 69.80. And on to the Euro Yen. We did have our resistance at 2289. They did breach 23 by just a hair. We'll just go on and call it at 23 even. Uh, I really don't see the euro making any moves up here at this point now. 2289 wasn't too far off. That was off by what, 14 pips? We'll call it 23 even now. And support. Right there, 22.24. Let's move on to the Euro one. Well, we finally started to slip here. As the Euro has paired back and the Aussie has strengthened, so we are slipping back. You can see down here we have support. It's going to be 61.48 on the downside.
And on the upside is going to be this close right there, which is 63.37. And on to the Euro Kiwi. I should see something similar. And we had 73.61, we're certainly moving a little bit lower here. Uh, support's gonna come in right there with all these little touches here. Seventy three thirty four. Let's go move into the OCN. This has certainly opened up now with the strength of the Aussie. As we've broken away, resistance will come right there, which is 75.78 for now. We could push it even a bit higher, but we'll go with 75.78. Keep a little bit tight. See if they he's back just a bit. 75.78 with resistance I and mean, with support now coming in right there, which is going to be 74.72. Pretty good move here in the uh, Aussie now as we break higher. With that break, we really should be looking for a move up here towards 76.37, but we'll see if maybe they just take a little bit of a pause today at 75.78. And look at here at the guppy. It's actually woken up a bit. A pretty good solid move yesterday. Look at that. So resistance now is going to be right here at 36.34. We did just edge above it, but uh, we're just below. It's going to be 36.34. So a good solid move yesterday in the guppy. And support. It's going to be right there at that close. And here with the uh, sterling odd. Well, we're pretty much not doing anything. We've, we were stuck in the super, super tight range. It moved a little bit higher, but we've turned around and given back most of those gains. So we're just basically moving nowhere. And on the upside, we had 80.07. That's going to stay the same. Although we punched above it yesterday, uh, actually the close there, which would be 80.50. So let's move that to 80.50. And support in the meantime. It's going to be these touches, which is going to be 79.28. And that's going to do it here for um, FX.
You know, still a bit on the weak side. On the lower ends, as is the cable. And taking a quick look at the equities, we did see a quick little pop here uh, in uh, S and P's here, and a little bit gentler pop here. Let's bear with me. Right here with the spoos, quick jump in here. The Nasdaq a little bit of a jump, but we're just trading quiet. But but up at these, you know, still very very well bid. And the crude oil look here above forty one a quarter, and it has rebounded nicely. Look at this a complete bullish engulfing line, and then we certainly added on to that. But other than that, we're relatively quiet. We have seen the euro pair back a bit after making one more foray. To the, close to its highs of the day, but then again, pulling back. And uh, that'll be it. And we'll see you in the chat room, and I'll get the bus chart posted. Thanks for joining us here on the European Crossover Webinar.